heavyweight title fight between Alistair Overeem and Francis Ngannou. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Ngannou is 33, Overeem is four. He weighed in at 260 pounds. Ngannou will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the challenger, Francis the Predator. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Alistair Arim Overeem! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear with your hands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners, come out fighting. Another shot at Francis Ngannou, 
feels that with his high-level striking background, he is a much better fighter than he oh. just got caught the first time. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. That one's coming in. Nice strike. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Strike there, interrupted by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Single collar tie now. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's six up. While the opponents seem to think he had shown up to take down defense, it did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, huh. but you don't know until the guys in front of you can take down attempt after take down attempt. Close guard. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kabor is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes him tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain. When you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like you're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator Ngannou. So how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet, the new UFC heavyweight champion. And he didn't just come in here and win on points here tonight. He submitted the defending reigning UFC heavyweight champion, takes the belt into his corner, and this is 